Welcome to VATABLE Training, a series of short videos breaking VAT down into plain English and helping you to become more able to tackle VAT. This is an introduction video to the series and we'll also look at the question, what is VAT? It's impossible in short videos like this to teach you a subject to diploma level, but time is short and that's not what you're after. The purpose of these videos is to raise awareness and help you in your day-to-day -day routine to know when to stop and take a closer look or to call your usual advisor or by all means give me a call and we can have a chat about retainer or pay-as-you-go options. Information on that is also available on my webpage so the details are below the video and feel free to take a look. The aim is to keep these videos short and useful. They're going to tackle topics such as when to register for VAT, partial exemption, land and property, international supplies and many more. Some topics may require more than one video and we'll tie them together into a series. But I'll be promoting these on my social media platforms, so feel free to pick your poison and follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook or like and subscribe and follow me right here on YouTube and you'll be able to tie the different topics together. So starting with the most basic topic of all, what is VAT? Well, VAT is a sales tax and it's charged at each leg of a supply chain. For example, in, the, in America, it's a little bit different. They charge a sales tax, but they only charge it at the final point of sale. That means if there's a breakdown in the supply chain, um, if that final sale is never made, or if the business chooses to suppress their income, then the government simply don't get their tax at the end of the, the supply. VAT works differently. It was introduced by the European Union and it's compulsory for all members. Since it was introduced, around 170 countries now operate a VAT system. So the way it works is that it's charged in the supply chain at each stage of the supply chain. So on each leg, the supplier will charge VAT and the buyer can also recover that VAT if it's associated to an onward supply. Now, ultimately, the consumer will be paying all of the VAT at the final point, but the government does not have to wait until that stage in order to start collecting the tax because that tax is collected as the supply chain progresses. So if it's a European tax, can we drop it following Brexit? Well, in theory we can, but it makes up around a quarter of all of the income for the Treasury Department. That's the same as income tax. So you can rest assured VAT is not going away anytime soon. I'll be back next week with the first of many videos aiming to help you become more VAT able.